Hey, what's going on, saltwater soldiers? I'm just uh, making a quick little video. I was I'm entered into the flounder tournament in Texas City at Boyd, so I guess that's why I've been flounder fishing mainly, and not really doing any other kind of fishing. But a cool thing is, in the tournament, uh, just being in the tournament, you're registered to win like certain random prizes. And last year, me and Ethan, we fished. I entered, and that was my fishing buddy. He, me, we won a uh, flambill uh, bait bucket. I'll show you guys in a minute uh, what that looks like. It's the one that has the net that you pulled out. I don't know if you saw it in some other videos. But today, or yesterday, I won a fish sticks rod. And I got notified to come pick it up. So here I'm at Boyd's, ready to pick up my new fish stick rod. I actually have a reel that's going to look real nice on that one. And uh, it'll be... I guess a good good addition a good good way to try a new reel a rod because I usually stick with only the American all-star rods so this is kind of getting me the way you know to step out try something else um, you know and I'm pretty sure I love it but you know add something else to the fishing game so let me walk in there pick up my rod and uh, show you guys what I got got both today these are out Boy, it's one stop. Walk in here. Pick up my reel for rod. About a mother. So here it is. I don't believe in luck. I believe in blessings. Do right, you get right. So check that out. Fish sticks rod. Look at that. It says, uh, we rip fish lips. I don't know if the camera picks it up. I'm too close. I kind of adjusted them. I might have to do video again. But that's a nice red, white, and blue. Actually, it looks kind of like a New York Giants colors. That's a nice royal blue, dark red, a white. It's a uh, spin cast rod, and I was actually looking into getting a uh, reel to go with this. I'll show you guys what I put on it. This gonna be this be real nice. So, thanks, Boyd's, and uh, thanks, Fish Sticks, for the uh, for the uh, for the for the rod. What's going on, Saltwater Soldiers? We're here at the Bass Pro Shops. I'm going to go ahead and get my rod rigged up, go find something to put it on, make it look real nice, get out there and get fishing. So let's go inside. Alright, so we went inside, it was a little loud in there, they had the music playing, didn't want it in the background, so I came back outside to finish the little video. I'll show you guys what I went with, or let me show you the box first. So, 
I went with this, the Spin Fisher 3500 uh, pin. I was going to go with the Daiwa BG. Um, they did not have the size that I needed, and they also didn't have the 2500, so I got the 3500 instead. And uh, the reason why I went with those two is because I mainly only do saltwater fishing. And these are totally sealed, the bearings are sealed, everything. Uh, this, this rod is totally sealed. I actually have the 6500 that you see me fish with on some of the other videos. Uh, it's been an awesome uh, reel. I haven't had any problems with that rod. I went with 20 pound. Usually I only throw 15 pound. I know a lot of people will put 20 or 20, 30, and sometimes even 40 on these smaller reels. You don't need it. As long as you set your drag right, uh, uh, 15 is plenty. So this right here, uh, kind of got the the mixed color so it sort of actually does the uh i guess it's like a camel or vanish uh it's where it, as you retrieve it it's different colors i went with the nomad uh was gonna go with the power pro but they didn't have enough uh they only had 150 yards on the schools and this one had 300 so that's why i went with it so be a good uh trial you know to see how well that holds up it's the you know with with what type of fishing we do fishing in the rocks if we get broken off so this is what it looks like this is set up so i want to thank fish sticks again you know for for the rod boyd's tournament uh the the flounder tournament thank you guys for the rod added the uh, spin fisher to it so hopefully to get a lot of fish on here got the sheep head that are starting to kind of gather up at the jetty rock so we will get a lot of sheep heads and also the winter trout so we're going for winter trout and some of the bull reds but not with this one but you know we'll do some more fishing so thank you guys please like subscribe and share and uh until next time that's what's up